Hello guys, welcome to my this video. My name is Anirudh and today in this JavaScript tutorial, I will show you what is call method. And in my previous video, I had shown what is constructor object. So if you haven't watched the previous video, you have to go my channel and there you will find playlist and you have to check JavaScript basic to advanced playlist. There you will find all of those videos. Now here I will start call method. But before starting that, here I want to tell you one thing like if you understand the call method but if you don't know what is the purpose of use call method so that is not a beneficial so here in this video i will show you the call method and i'll tell you like why we use call method okay so don't skip this video watch properly and if you find this video is helpful so please subscribe my channel and also like this video to get more update because in the next video i will show you apply and bind method as well and this is very important and advanced of javascript now here i will start to write the code for call method so for that one i have to create two objects okay so here quickly i will create two object so variable name is object one and here i will add two properties one is first name and first name i will add some random name and the last name also same like this one okay and i will copy this object from here and i will paste here so this variable name i will change to object 2 and here i will write my channel name by the way this one you can write anything as per the requirement here i'm showing the example so i will write this okay object 1 and object 2 there is two similar properties first name last name but different values okay now here suppose you want to display from uh, first name and last name from object one so how we can do that okay so simply here i will write console dot log object one because from object one i want to display first name and last name so object one dot first name and here uh, I will add comma okay and object one dot last name so I'll copy and I'll replace it to last name okay now if I show in the browser this is my page and I'll open the console so you can see it is it will display first and the last name okay see it is displaying first name and last name from object one if you want to display from object two so instead of object one you can write object two this is very simple thing right now here why i will write like this if i if i can use one shortcut method that will be very helpful right because suppose here uh, here only the two properties i'm displaying but suppose here i have to display multiple properties okay multiple properties means uh, here first name last name and the age suppose age is 20 and here i will add the age also age is uh, two years my channel is around two years so i'm writing two years so here so again you have to display here the age also so again you have to write the same thing right object one and instead of last name here i'll write age so like this way you have to display so just assume here like thousand of properties and you have to display so you have to write one by one like this way but it is not the good practice right so that's why we create one method okay so here we create like suppose full name full name colon and function like this like this and just understand carefully now i'm start actually i'm starting what is call method okay so now here I will write return this. This means when I'm writing this keyword, this keyword means it denotes this object one. Okay, no need to write here object one. Here instead of object one, I'm writing this and this dot first name, right? When I'm displaying here first name, so I'm writing object one dot first name. But here, no need to write object one dot first name. Just simply if I write this dot first name, it will denote object one dot first name. Same, right? So now here, I will write again class 
this dot last name okay means suppose i want to display first and last name okay so uh, this first name and last name here i have created okay now here instead of writing object to under first name object to under last name simply i will call this one object one dot full name okay so let's see what i will get in the output uh, here i have to write method see john doy okay here if you want to add some space so you can do that like you can add space like this way and again plus means i'm just concatenating okay this is called concat oh, so first name and last name and in middle i'm adding space now let's see it's added one space so it is very simple right no need to write again first name last name just i'm creating a method here and i'm calling the method here so same way i i will create the method for this object so this means now it's a object to no need to write object to this means it will denote object to means this keyword wrapped by this object means it will denote this one object to so same first name and last name now if you want to print this object to so you can just simply write object to dot full name right see now i am getting creative developer now you are thinking this is the common thing where is the call method now see here full name is the common right full name is the common for object one and object two and here also see same properties first name last name so i'm writing two times right two times i'm writing but why i will write two times i can use one shortcut method right now it comes to the call method so instead of writing here full name and again here full name now i will create another object okay so the another object name suppose i will write person and here same way i will create now instead of passing here this one i will pass and from here also i will remove means now i will use this full name common purpose okay this is called reuse means no need to pass two times okay for object one and for object two only one time i will pass now here i will write person instead of this i will write person dot call if you want to call this object one so i will write object one so now let's see okay person dot full name okay person dot full name because i want to call full name right person dot full name dot call dot object one see i'm getting same way if you want to add object two you can do that so this is the call method actually right so what is the purpose of use now you can understand right if you still have any confusion you can write in the comment section i will try to explain means simple like no need to use this full name multiple times right here here because this is common thing so when it is common thing so i will i will add in inside an another object and i will call it like this way okay it is very simple now the another thing here also you can use the another shortcut thing okay the another shortcut thing means just no need to pass an object you can use as a method so just simply i will remove this object just understand the, okay i will keep it because you can easily understand then so i will comment this one okay and i will copy this one and i will paste this one i will remove okay so function and just simply here i will add this full method this is the syntax different okay so this full name here i wrote this full name as a function now i'm writing a different syntax like function full name okay both you can use so here is the benefit like no need to create an object only here what i, I was doing like i'm creating object and inside that object i'm passing one method and that method is returning 
first name and last name but here no need to create object just simply i'm writing a method and this method passing written the, the this dot first name and last name so now here no need to write person because here no object so only full name because the method is full name that time what was that like person full name so i was calling like that person dot full name but here only full name so i'll write full name dot call object to see the same result and if you want to use object one you can do that object one here so this is the call method the you purpose of use call method is no we can use we i mean we can reuse right that uh, the earlier we wrote this this thing here and here for object one object two object one both then now this one now here one confusion maybe comes to your mind like here we are not displaying age right if you want to display age as well so here also you can write this dot age like that but i'm not displaying okay so here if i'm not displaying age so is it right thing if you ask me so i will say yes because why why i'm displaying first name and last name suppose now i'm taking an example one e-commerce site like flipkart it is a very popular site right flipkart amazon so if you log in there so after login you can see your name okay so that time we display only name after login and if you go to your profile so that time you can see all the details right so that time all from entire object we take only first and last name for display okay so that time you can use call method okay so in this scenario you can use call method so in this video what you can understand you can understand the call method the purpose of use and what is the scenario you can use call method so in that scenario i gave you the example already so in that scenario you can use call method so guys if you find this video is helpful so again i'm saying please like this video because you people who watch this video but don't like if you like this video so it will helpful for me and it will reach to other person also and also subscribe my channel to get this kind of interesting talk